my name is Dan and in this video I'll be comparing HubSpot to Pipedrive. I will show you which one is the better CRM platform for your needs. I will show you everything from the features that they have and also I will be comparing both of their price points so you know exactly which platform you should choose after watching this video. So let's get started with HubSpot. HubSpot is one of the biggest CRM systems that's currently out there and if you use it you know why. So with HubSpot you have a bunch of different features available. Within the software itself you have multiple different hubs available. You have the operations hub, CMS, service, sales, marketing and commerce. All of this is combined into just one platform. Now, if you don't know what you should use HubSpot for, well, you have a bunch of different features to choose from. Just take a look at their popular features like here. For example, the ones that you'll be using the most will be something like lead generation, marketing automation, and the analytics. Then from the sales hub, you'll be using the advanced CRM system from them. And you will also be using their meeting scheduling a lot. So lastly, we have the service hub. And there you'll be using like the tickets, customer feedback, all of that. You can handle that in that service hub. Now, once we log into HubSpot, we find a massive difference already to Pipedrive. That's because HubSpot does have a free plan. With Pipedrive, you only get a pay plan with a free trial. So if you want to try it out for free, then keep in mind with Pipedrive, you only can for like 14 days. And with HubSpot, you can just use the free plan all the way once setting up your account in hubspot this is the dashboard that we will see we have this little guide that helps us getting started with our tool now if you want to import your contacts it look as followed you can create a contact right here and now you can enter in the name and now you can enter in the email first name last name and you can also enter in more details now if you already have a list that you want to add in then you can click on import and here you can import your list I've done it already and this is what mine looked like for example. We can edit all of these different columns and this way we can just see exactly what we want to see from our contact page. On Pipedrive it works a little bit differently. Pipedrive is more of a sales platform so if you do use a lot of sales features then Pipedrive might be the one for you. Like I said if you want to try it you can try it out for free but you don't have a free plan available. So within Pipedrive, this is what your dashboard will look like. We have over here on the left side, we have the lead segment. Here you can see your lead inbox. Then we have the deal section. And here you have a pipeline of what your deals are looking like. We have that same section on HubSpot also. I will just compare it for you. If we go to sales, we go to deals. And here you can see we also have a visual pipeline for our sales. So all in all, this looks very similar. With both, you can probably customize it a little bit to make it more custom to your needs. If we want to import our new leads, then we can do it as followed. We can click the contact person, organization, title. We can give all of their values and all of that in there. Then we can save it and then it is saved. Within Pipedrive, if we want to add in our context, then we do that as follows. We click on person and now a new contact will be added to our list once we fill in all of these details. So far, it is pretty similar in terms of the usability. But let me point out a few of their differences. With HubSpot, for example, it is great in terms of the marketing tools. Within the marketing, you have a bunch of different tools available, such as ads, email campaigns, landing pages, websites, social, SEO, campaigns, design tools, and forms. With Pipedrive, it is a little bit different. Within Pipedrive, we don't have a section where it says marketing. We just have a section where it says deals and projects and campaigns. So let me take a look at what that looks like. And here we just can create marketing campaigns. So we can't do any of these features like ads. We can't do landing pages. We also cannot do anything like SEO, social. Those are the things we cannot do within Pipedrive. But what Pipedrive makes up for is its good sales pipeline management. So in the deal section, you can completely customize all of this. For example, if I just add a new lead in here, I would just name the name Bob. Then I add in an organization, let's say Google. And then we give it a value, let's say $1,000. And now we can set which pipeline stage is in. We can add in the phone number and all of that. And now after I close this, we can save it. And here we have a great visual pipeline. Now we can also give a different overview and we can also assign tasks to our pipeline. So now what I also love about Pipedrive is that we also can enter in some projects within our dashboard. 
So what I also like about Pipedrive is that we now can enter in some tasks to our project. For example, we have a new sample project and here we can enter in all the tasks that go with that. We can see all of the stages that we're currently in and it will also automatically move into the next stage once you do that. So this is really useful for having a visual overview of what is next to do. Within our deals as well, we can add some tasks in there. With HubSpot, on the other hand, you do have something like this as well. It looks like this, but it doesn't look as nice, as polished as it does on Pipedrive. So within HubSpot, we can also add in some tasks that go with our projects. So for example, with HubSpot, we can also add a task to send some samples to Bob. So this way, both of the platforms are a little bit different. Um, also in terms of like automation, HubSpot is a little bit different in terms of that compared to Pipedrive, but Pipedrive is very good for its email marketing also. So within Pipedrive, the email campaign looks as follows. We create a new campaign and then we enter in all of our information. We enter in our subject and now we can choose from a new template or we can use our own existing templates. So the templates look as follows. We have all of these different templates available and honestly, they look pretty nice. So once you find the one that you like, you click on select that one and now you can customize it a little bit more to make it more custom to your needs. We also have this drag and drop editor, which is very useful to have. With HubSpot, it works pretty similarly. It just doesn't feel as nice. I just like the design of Pipedrive a little bit more, but in terms of usability, it is almost completely the same. So if we create a new email, we have three different options. We can do a regular email, an automated email, or a blog. And an automated email will be automatically sent through a workflow, which is really good on HubSpot. So let's just create a regular for now. And here we can also choose a few different templates. It just feels like we don't have as much choices as we have on Pipedrive, but overall for a standard newsletter, these templates are pretty good. So once you click the one you like, then you can use the drag and drop editor, same as Pipedrive. Let me just compare them for you. Like here it is on the right side and on HubSpot it is on the left side. But this is like almost completely the same. You won't really tell the difference. So in terms of like the email campaigns, I would say both are pretty similarly. Now, another cool feature that I want to show of both platforms and I wanted to compare it for you is the dashboards. So in the dashboard, you can see all of the analytics. If I go to the one on HubSpot, it looks as followed. We can create custom reporting dashboards where we can see all of our activity, all of our stats, and we can add in any metrics that we would like to see. And overall, this is pretty clean. You can add in a report right here. So you can also swap between the different dashboards that you have. For example, if you have a marketing one or an operations one, you can swap between those. On Pipedrive, it looks pretty much the same. We have dashboards and there we can also create like custom dashboards to our needs. Again, I like the design a little bit better of Pipedrive, but that just might be my personal taste. Uh, in terms of functionality and usability, it is almost completely the same. So before I move on to the pricing, overall in terms of the features and usability, I would suggest HubSpot if you want an all-in-one tool. HubSpot has like the marketing tools in there, it has the sales tools in there, it has like an all-in-one complete overview of the tools that you need. If you're more sales focused, then I would suggest going with Pipedrive because Pipedrive is a bit better polished on the sales section. The features are a bit nicer and also the tools work just a little bit better. But before we get to the pricing, let me introduce you to EngagePay. EngagePay is an all-in-one tool that has all of the best features from both HubSpot and Pipedrive that you can use at a way more affordable price. So let me now actually compare the pricing of all of these tools. So for the pricing with HubSpot, you can get started for free, like I mentioned in the intro. But if you want to get the starter plan, then you will be paying 20 euros a month. And if you want to upgrade to a even better plan, then the price goes up like 40 times. This is quite a hefty change because most businesses start off small and then they grow a little bit but making the jump from like 20 euros to like 800 euros is quite a lot if you ask me. So let's compare that to Pipedrive. If we look at the price of Pipedrive, we see that we have a gradual increase in the prices. We cannot get started for free, but we can use a free trial. And then we have the essential plan. With the essential plan, you pay around 15 euros and then you get all the basic features of Pipedrive. 
If you want a better plan, then you go with the advanced plan. And this one gives you some more templates. They give you more automations and also ability to do meetings, emails and video call scheduling. So the most popular plan is around $50 a month. Still pretty expensive, but this will give you the most features that you need. And lastly, we have the power plan, which is for the most heavy users. And those get more like project planning. They get more features, which is ideal for if you're having busy pipelines. Now let's compare those plans to EngagePay, which is probably the most affordable plan that you can choose, which has all the features that you need. So EngagePay has a free plan, which gives you probably more features than it will be on HubSpot and also more on Pipedrive because Pipedrive doesn't even have a free plan. Then we have the base plan, which gives you access to email templates, web pop-ups, landing page builder, lead scoring, SMS marketing, third party integration, a social suit and a tag manager. Then if you are really serious about growing your business using a CRM, then I would suggest going with the growth plan because that will give you like 5,000 contacts. You have access to marketing automations. You have push notifications. You get AB testing, which is very useful to have. You have custom domains, call records, service automation. And most importantly, on all of these plans, EngagePay offers great service. So if you need customer support, EngagePay is there for you. That is the issue with most of these platforms like HubSpot and Pipedrive. Also what I have been seeing in the reviews is that the customer support on like either like the free plan, but also on the paid plans isn't the best. And that's where EngagePay comes in. They really take care of their customers. So if you need help getting set up or if you need any help during the process of you using this tool, then EngagePay is there for you. Lastly, with EngagePay for the powerful users, we have the pro plan which comes in at $102 per month. And it gives you unlimited context, marketing automation, web analytics, proposal analytics, literally everything that you need. So all in all, if you need an all-in-one plan, HubSpot might be the one for you or EngagePay because it literally has all of the features that you need. But if you're more sales focused, then I would go with Pipedrive, but also consider using EngagePay because EngagePay has all of these features combined and they also come at a more affordable price than Pipedrive does. So if you like this video, then leave a like. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I will see you in the next one.